This video demonstrates the Radiant Logic ID Connect application for SharePoint. ID Connect is based on Silverlight and is comprised of three SharePoint web parts My Profile, White Pages, and Context Browser. Although this demo focuses on the ID Connect application for SharePoint, Radiant Logic also offers a JSP Flex version for J2EE portals. The ID Connect application showcases four key capabilities of the Radiant One Identity and Context Virtualization Platform. First is the ability to aggregate multiple identities from heterogeneous data sources to be used for authentication. Second is the identity correlation capability that is essential for combining the user attributes to create a global profile. Third is the ability to build dynamic groups based on criteria available in the user profiles. Finally, the ability to organize and represent different contextual views out of existing data sources. Let's first take a quick look at the architecture of these different capabilities. First is the ability to correlate identities across multiple data sources and present a unique global list for locating users for authentication. The VDS, which is a key component of the platform, delegates the credential checking back to the appropriate data source to confirm the user is who they claim to be. This simplifies the SharePoint Authentication Provider configuration task to a single identity source which can be accessed using the standard LDAP membership provider. There's no special customizations that are required. In this demo, three data sources are used, Active Directory, an LDAP directory, and a Salesforce CRM system. Next is the ability of the VDS to present a complete global profile about a user, which can then be managed globally in the portal. Authorized users are able to read and update their profile accordingly, and the update requests are forwarded to the appropriate backend sources by the VDS. Third is the ability of the VDS to dynamically build groups from the correlated list of identities based on any criteria available in the global profiles. This differs from static groups which have the members hard, manually hard-coded in the group entry. Dynamically building groups alleviates the time-consuming task of having to define and maintain possibly large static groups, and it allows SharePoint to be more flexible in enforcing finer-grained authorization policies. If the criteria used to determine group membership for a user changes, they will automatically be reflected in a new group and new policies will be enforced accordingly. An administrator doesn't have to worry about updating any static group members. The last key capability that the demo will focus on is the ability of Radiant One to gather, organize, and represent different contextual views out of existing data sources. Today's demo will show how these context views facilitate enterprise-wide keyword search capabilities across structured data. So let's take a look at the application. I will log into the SharePoint portal as Alice Lee. The authentication request is sent to the VDS, and in this case, VDS forwards the credentials checking back to Active Directory. Once I'm logged in, I immediately see Alice's profile, which is the result of her Active Directory entry correlated with her entry in the LDAP directory. Alice's phone numbers are coming from Active Directory, while her hobby information is pulled from the LDAP directory. Her address attribute is blank because address is being pulled from Salesforce and Alice does not have a Salesforce account. I can see that Alice currently has a hobby of reading. As I mentioned, this personal information is stored in the LDAP directory. I can edit her profile and add an additional hobby. The VDS will send this update to the LDAP directory. With the VDS, this is an easy way to extend the user profile information without having to extend the Active Directory schema. Any additional attributes that a user would like to comprise their global profile can be stored in any other data source, like directly in the VDS LDAP store, for example, which could play the role of a personal data locker, and the update requests would be directed there. 
Now let's take a look at the White Pages application. Based on the policies that have been established, marketing interns are only allowed to search the White Pages for users in Active Directory. As shown, there are a total of 40 people. Now, if I log in with someone from a different group, we'll be able to see the other permissions in effect. Logging in as Stephen Buchanan, I can see his profile details. Same thing with Alice. The phone numbers are being pulled from Active Directory. In this case, title and department are returned from Active Directory as well. Hobbies are being returned from the LDAP store. And the address is being pulled from Salesforce. Just as we saw with Alice's profile, I can edit Stephen's profile and add an additional hobby, for example. and even update phone numbers. The information is updated in Active Directory in the local store accordingly. From this profile page, we can also see that Stephen is a member of the sales group. He has access to the private area for the sales department. Behind the scenes, it is the VDS who is responsible for determining members of the sales group and for this demo, groups are based on the department attribute of the user profile. If I were to go into Active Directory and change Stephen's department, let's change it to accounting, for example. He would automatically be reflected in the new group within SharePoint. So I can now see that Stephen is a member of the accounting department. His group membership changed accordingly, and he has a different view in the private area and is authorized to access documents that are linked to the accounting department. Since Stephen is now a member of the accounting department, he has permissions to um, search across more user repositories than Alice did. By searching, we can see that he has access to 116 different user profiles. I can also categorize this view by dragging the column I want to sort by into the header. So let's try, for example, department, and maybe by title. This is an easy way to sort the results, and it enables me to possibly find a person I'm looking for faster. So far, we've seen the benefits of VDS in terms of identity correlation and joining in order to present a complete list of users for authentication and the ability to build a global profile that can be managed globally from the portal. We've also seen the benefits of VDS building dynamic groups and how if the information I'm basing my group membership on changes for the user, they will be reflected in the new group accordingly. Now let's take a look at how identity profiles can be linked to other relevant application contexts. In this demo, the profiles are linked to other related contexts that have been virtualized from the Salesforce customer accounts and an order database. The context browser showcases the ability of Radiant One to gather, organize, and represent different business contexts that exist within the data and gives you an idea about how applications can consume it. I'm able to search for a keyword and the result will be a set of sentences describing the contexts around the keyword. For example, if Stephen Buchanan were to receive a phone call from one of his accounts, let's say Sports Unlimited, for example, he could issue a search and immediately see all the contexts that surround the interactions with the account. Each sentence here indicates the various contexts in which the name was found. For example, I can see that Sports Unlimited placed order one and that Stephen Buchanan is the representative for Sports Unlimited. 
The sentences reflect the relationship between existing data sources, which in this case are Salesforce accounts and an order database. The context browser is actually depicting three levels of context. The context field describes the current contexts in which the keyword was found. As you can see, these are in the form of human readable sentences. The sentence field, which is right here, represents a specific situation based on the context that I have selected. The forms field shown below represents the specific details, the attributes, about the subject and the object that the context is comprised of. These are the objects that you reached in a specific context. It is not just the details about any order, for example. It is order one that was placed by Sports Unlimited, who Stephen Buchanan is the account rep for. This is an example of how an end user could benefit from context virtualization. But externalizing and representing contextual views out of existing data sources is also valuable for products like ZACMOL enabled policy servers or other context aware applications. Up until now, deploying fine-grained authorization has been challenging and difficult because of the complexity of find all the needed information and present it in a usable format. For authorization, you may need more than just an attribute by itself. You may need related information as well. For example, in order to properly authorize someone like Stephen Buchanan, I may need to know more about him other than the fact that he is a title of sales manager. I may want to give him access to accounts in which he is the sales representative for, and only if those accounts have purchased a certain type of product. This related information is not maintained in a single object and is spread across multiple data sources. It's not the job of a policy engine to handle these kinds of data management challenges. Without the support of the metadata captured by the VDS and its ability to build sentences based on the relationships across the metadata, you will not be able to deliver the attributes in the proper contexts that policy servers need in order to enforce their fine-grained policies. By using Radiant Logic's virtualization platform to link identities with their related business contexts, companies now have a context-based collaboration and search engine that enables users to search for information across data silos securely through a single unified interface. With Radiant One, companies can publish information directly out of their existing data silos and then share these data across the enterprise. This demo has showcased the ID Connect application for SharePoint which offers, as we've seen today, user profile management, white pages, and enterprise-wide keyword search capabilities, all by leveraging the Radiant One platform.